hi everyone you're welcome back once again my name is mercy thank you for stopping by so guys today free tutorial is going to be double it's going to be short and or top as you can see up here so this is a free double tutorial this short has a two side pocket as you can see here with um elastic waistband you can see the side pocket yeah this is the other one and this beautiful top that you're looking up here if you want to know how to cut and sew this just keep watching to the end all right so i'm making use of this flower cutting material for this and it's up to two and half yard but the length is not much so i did what they called cut and join you understand that very soon i'll start by folding this in a triangular form to get my angle um 90 degree i'll be holding the tip like so and fold it this way you can see the place that i made the cut and join so i folded it in this shape and it's going to be looking like this I want to get my flay all right and remember that this tutorial the upper one we are making the top and it's an off the shoulder so i'll be um i'll be subtracting five inches from this i am going to place my tab this way to get my upper bra circumference divided by four to get where it matches it and i am going to use my ruler to rule the line out this is the place that matches it just see it as a shoulder line but remember that we have the dotted five inches from it so there is no more shoulder line here this is upper bust circumference divided by four so on this line i am going to be putting my strap to strap measurements mine is 11 divided by 2 is going to give me five and a half so because this um flay has a, a, a elastic gather on it i am going to add extra three inches allowance for it remember remember that this five inches it's out already okay it is already out so if you are not going to be adding elastic band to your own no need of adding three inches allowance to this line all right so i mark out my strap to strap plus three inches allowance because of the elastic on the chest line i will put it down Then on this side, supposed to have an armhole or measurement, armhole shape. Like you place your tape this way, minusing the five inches to get your armhole. But this top does not have any armhole. All right, so I am not going to be marking out armhole measurement for this. Sorry, guys, I thought that my camera is videoing on how to take the measurements on the length of the flare. So I've gone ahead and did that. I thought that my camera is filming it. I just placed my tape, removing the five inches that is it, and get the length of this flare. After that, I cut out. The length of this flay is just um 23 inches by length plus your hemming allowance. So I'll be using this front to cut out the back. Remember to notch your center part. I'm done cutting out the both the front and the back and this is how it looks like. I'm going to open up the inside for us to see it. You can see how it looks. So it's not that a uh, full flay, just an angle 90 degree flay. So the next thing for me to do right now is to fold it this way because I'll be inserting elastic to this.
now i am done cutting the upper top uh, the next step to take is to cut the short pants so i am going to be folding my fabric like this to get to cut the pants okay you can see the line that i have marked out on this upper area i am going to go ahead and subtract one and a half inches for the band because this is going to be having elastic band so i'll place my tape this way to get the my hip line and i'll mark it out and the length of this short the length of this shot is going to be 14 inches. Then adding 2 inches allowance is going to give me 16 inches. I will mark it out. I will be connecting the lines, marking out all the lines. The next step is to place the tape this way to rule out the line in a block shape. But before I do that, I'm going to place my tape horizontal, horizontally to check if my hip measurement is corresponding. And on the waistline, I'm going to be adding my hip measurement on it, both on the waist measurement and on the hip line measurement. So to get the cropped depth, to get our crotch depth, what I am going to do is to measure on the hip line. I'm going to measure my hip measurement there. Whatever it gives me, I'm going to divide it by 2 and further divide it again by 2. So whatever it gives me, like mine is 2.5, I'll place it below the hip line and mark the 2.5 on the line. Then I'm going to go out with 2.5 again a mark i'll use my french curve to curve out the line below the hip line i marked out vertically 2.5 inches and on that line i go i went out horizontally to get two and a half inches again then i connect it with my ruler connect it directly on the um hip measurement then on this down part it's obvious that the hip measurement is bigger than the last measurement the tie measurement so i'll put down the hip measurement down there or if you like you can divide your tie measurement by two and place the whatever you get on the tie all right so i am done connecting all the line the next step is to cut it out please Remember to add your one and a half sewing allowance to this, please. Then on this crotch line, add half an inch while you are cutting it. On this side that I'm cutting right now, add half an inch to it. But while taking your measurements, add one and a half same allowance to this, please. So I'm going to use this to cut the back. But I feel like shaping it a little. I have allowance to it. I just feel like giving it, shaping it a little. So I place my hip measurement on the waistline and mark it out. Or add extra 1.5 inches allowance. So I'm going to connect it straight to the hip line. Remember, on this waistline, the measurement that I put there is my hip measurement plus one and a half inch seam allowance because this is going to be having an elastic band. I'm going to use elastic to it. Okay, so I'm going to cut it open. Then I'll go ahead and cut the back. I'll be folding the fabric using this front to cut the back. You can see it too now. You can see that I've folded my fabric into two and I've placed it 
leaving about um extra four inches on the center back all right so to get the back crotch depth remember that our our front um crotch depth is 2.5 and i'll mark the 2.5 at the center back from starting from the up to down i will use my ruler to rule it out you know some if you're wondering why i did this is because the back is bigger than the front because of the butt but if you want to go ahead and shape you can shape it starting from the waistline but that is how i do my and it always works for me after sewing if you feel like trimming some excess you can trim but it's better to have an excess than to have a shortage all right i'm going to go ahead right now and cut out but why cutting a pants the back is always bigger than the front there are so many ways of cutting a pants on this clutch line i'm going to add half an inch while cutting it i'm done cutting it and you can see how it looks like so the excess you are looking up here is just our clouch depth so i am done and this is it so what you're looking at right now is the four pieces for the side pocket the wideness is eight and a half and the length is also nine inches I'm going to bring my two fronts, arranging it in order and place it with the two pieces I cut out from the pocket. I will subtract my 1.5 inches and the length for the pocket is going to be 6 and a half. Then the width is going to be 3.5. Like the horizontal measurement is going to be 3.5. I will connect it in a um slanty shape like v shape i am joining the two piece two piece of the pocket then i'm going to go ahead and cut it at the side of the front short so this is it this is how it's going to like i am going to go ahead and sew our clouch line then i'll be placing the side pocket like this and stitch it the one i cut open i'm going to do the same thing and the other one i'll still come back and show you how how you are going to stitch the remaining two pieces of the pocket that is still remaining this is how it's going to look like when you attach it so these two remaining pieces i will be showing you how you are going to be turning it after stitching now i am done stitching the clouch you can see and i'm done stitching the two piece um side pocket you can see how the stitching looks like Now, to fix this pocket properly, remember that the two pieces still remaining, and I've gone ahead to do that on one side of the pocket. I'm going to show us how to do that on the other side of the pocket. Remember that we have two pieces left. After fixing this, how it's going to be looking like. You can see how beautiful it looks. So, watch how you are going to do it when you get the remaining pieces remember right side facing right side place it this way and stitch stitch the place i'm going to pin it will be the place you are going to stitch so you stitch it this way following the movement of my hand okay when you come to this end you stitch it very well okay any excess that is remaining you can go ahead and trim it up the place I'm pinning will be the place to stitch, to run a stitch. So 
so you stitch on it like this all round after stitching it it's going to be looking like this so you stitch it after that you trim off the excess then you can see how neat the inside is because it's right side facing right side then you are going to flip it up this way remember that this is the line of the front you you fold it backward you fold it backward then bringing the the one you stitched last at the front that is just it you can see the way i folded it in what after stitching after running a stitch i folded it in this way watch again yes fold it like this then bring out the outer one outside so that is it guys you can see that the pocket shape is out and remember to top that is run a stitch on this upper just to secure it okay i've gone ahead and stitched the center of the the back so i'm going to like run a stitch on this just to secure the pocket the place that i'm pinning will be the place i'm going to be running the stitch just to secure the pocket okay so the next thing to do right now is our band like the band for the shorts i cut out um two and a half inches for this and the uh, the length the length of this band that i cut out is um my hip measurement and i'm using this elastic this elastic is one inch elastic for it i just remove only four inches from my um waist measurement all right so if you like you can remove three inches but i deducted only four inches i'm going to go ahead and insert using my safety pin and insert insert this elastic on that band that i cut out remember this band that i cut out is um my hip measurement okay but the elastic is my waist measurement so after inserting the elastic is going to be looking like this it's going to be looking like this i'm trying to like stretch it to know if it's up to my waist measurement i'm working with waist measurement of 30 and i have 33 here so it's perfect i'm going to go ahead and attach it to the shirt so i am going to um show us how to how i inserted this on the top this is the top and i've gone ahead using this tiny um elastic that is not up to half an inch for this top so i inserted it on the upper area okay now i'm going to go ahead and insert this strap remember that this top has a strap to this how i get this strap is um I folded the length of the strap I'm working with is up to 30 inches. I folded this top into two and I measure out my um strap to strap. My strap to strap is 11 inches divided by two and it's going to give me five and a half inches. I will mark where the five and a half inches falls in. I'll use my chalk to mark it out there. Then I will go ahead and attach my strap to this using the pin to secure it. And the place I attach this strap is only the front, not the back. So I'm just trying to show us how the strap style looks like. This is how it looks like on the neck and on the shoulder line. was looking like this 
if you want your style to be looking like this you can go ahead and cut enough strap that will be enough to pass through your head then you attach it this way but i am going to be dividing my strap into two remember that it's 30 inches so i'll divide it by two it's going to give me 15 i will attach one on the left side and the other one on the right side so it's not gonna be this i'll be tying my at the back of the neck okay so this is how i inserted the elastic band on the short and i'm going to go ahead and close this place and everything is ready guys everything is ready i'll run a stitch on that side and i've run a stitch on the clutch also the next thing for me to do right now is to hem the down part you can see how beautiful our shot is looking and this comes to the end of this tutorial guys here is our top you can see how it looks and this is my strap i'll be tying it on the back thank you guys for watching please if you have any question just drop it on the comment section i'm going to see you guys there thank you for watching and see you on the next tutorial bye